got a hot crowd here. Hello, world. What is up? Welcome to Build. I'm your host, Matt Forte. We are here live at the Build Studio in New York City. Dude, season two of Hulu's Light as a Feather picks up right where we left off. It's packed with even more mystery and drama and accidental, but not really super gruesome deaths and gross demon chrysalis stuff. Man, it's got it all. And joining me now to tell us all about it in just a few short moments, stars of the show, Liana Liberato is here, Haley Ram is here, Brian Chu are here. Are you guys excited? I'm excited. How do you feel about that at home? Huh? They're very excited, as am I. We're going to bring them out in just a second, but first, I believe we have a trailer for this season, so let's go ahead, run that clip. Oh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, make a crazy amount of noise. Liana, Haley, and Brian right here. Come on. Congratulations. Season two is so good. Thank you. You're very welcome. I know I, I, I caused a little friction in the green room. I've gotten a chance to see some of the episodes. Yeah. What the heck? Need more than us. <laughs> so sorry for that. I guess we filmed it, so it's fine. Yeah, you guys lived it, it's right? It's fine. Yeah, yeah we're true. there. Okay. How, uh, well, first of all, thank you so much for being here and carving out some time to come hang out with us. It's super cool to have you here. Uh, how, how long ago did you guys just wrap this up? Has it been... Like oh, a like, week and a half ago. Yeah, that's no, a funny maybe question. Maybe more. Like maybe two, two weeks? and a half. Weeks. How did I see finished stuff? That's so fast. We That's wrapped, amazing. We July 2nd. Yeah, we wrapped July 2nd, but you saw the first three, yeah, right? Yeah, I saw the first three. Exactly. So we were shooting 16 instead of the 10 that we had first season. Got so it. It was, yeah, it was a long way to so go. It felt like two seasons in one, really. Yeah, wow. and it kind of is like that with our release. So yeah. That's pretty half, amazing. Oh, October. it's so funny because usually when I get people together, like I get a cast together, it's like, oh, it's a fun reunion. You guys were just hanging out. Oh, yeah. And we <laughs> see each other all the time. We hang out every yeah. day. We live very close. <laughs> we're always in a group text. Yeah. Like, yeah. Always. What's the last thing in the group text? Oh, Don't well, be late. probably asking if someone wants coffee. Yeah, yeah. probably. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's fun. Yeah. That's yeah. What friends do. <laughs> get each other coffee. We, were, we all have like separate hotel rooms here, but like... One of us always ends up in each other's beds. It was like that. Is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the pull quote from the interview. There we are, 30 seconds in, go. and we've got it. That's the headline. Yeah. Um, was it like that? I mean, and correct me if I'm wrong, but you guys have you've been close for a while. Was it like that before the show? Did you guys know of each other? Did you get close because Ooh, of the show? Ooh, story time. Ooh. I've known Haley <laughs> for have. like 10 years. 10 years? Ten years? Yeah. yeah. Long time. We used to see each other. Well, I guess we still do, like yeah. in audition rooms together, and she used to, like, well, she used to intimidate me so much. I was Same like, oh my though. God, Haley Ram was there and she's so good. And then come to find out, like, we both did that to each other. We we're both so like, funny. oh my God. Well, at the callback, I saw you at the callback and I didn't know what part yeah. you were going out for. And I, I saw you and I was like, well, she's yeah. getting the part. <laughs> Might as well leave now. <laughs> and Brienne, so I never knew, we didn't know Brienne. And the first scene that we shot together was, um, well, obviously in first season when uh, she and Peyton and Asian and, and Haley, they mm -hmm. are, or maybe, but I yeah, but I was there. the odd for man a party. Out. You guys get like out of a car wise. and see me, yeah. and I'm waiting for them. And Brie comes up to me right before we start shooting. We literally just met, and she was like, Hi, I'm gonna jump on you. <laughs> and I was like, Okay, great, let's yeah. do this. I just jumped on her, and she caught me she, every time. Every, always, I always, so that's will. how I knew. <laughs> that's the sign right there. She was a good one. Consistent yeah. catching every single time, and you know this is going to work long term. <laughs> so I guess, it sounds like it didn't take long then uh, for for the group. No, to, to it was weird too. Form, yeah. I remember like the night that we all came together. We were shooting a, a night shoot in a cemetery, and it just it was like magic. I was just what? looking around like, whoa, everyone is so like close already and comfortable. Yeah. When, when you have the crew and you're there and you're doing the show, I'm torn between if because of the nature of the show, it's more scary to be in a cemetery at night or if it's less scary because everyone's there. Like, what's that vibe like? It was a little creepy at mm -hmm. Yeah, it has to be. We I mean, it is. And you, and you, we were in a real cemetery in Altadena and, like, you feel kind of disrespectful. You apologize you for, like, know, all yeah, the You apologize time. constantly. I'm so sorry. Oh, I didn't so mean to sorry. step I'm so We like sorry. to think of it as, like, it, like we're there to... Um, Hang out with them, you yeah. know? Like we're entertaining positive, them actually. Like I would want to be buried there. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. I would yeah, really. Like, then I just I'd forever be on, on like camera. In, on camera. Film so there much. you go. Yeah. Well, like my <laughs> career <laughs> never <laughs> ended. We'd always have a role there. That's kind of brilliant. <laughs> the ultimate casting call. I just want to be at whatever cemetery yeah. they film stuff at. Don't if you <laughs> blink you'll miss me in it though. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. That is pretty amazing. Um, 
Well, that's really exciting and fun to hear, and that's always a fun thing too. And uh, when you find out there's so much like camaraderie behind yeah. the scenes, I think there would need to be on a show I like this. I think it translates too. Yeah. a lot. A hundred percent. Yeah, you can tell that you guys are very close, and like you're having a good time doing what you're doing, even in the darker scenes. It definitely is needed too. I mean, yeah, like we are dealing with a lot of dark stuff. We shoot at very late hours sometimes, yeah. and that would suck if like you didn't get along or something. Yeah, but like the good that we have off screen so lends itself to the darker moments on screen because it's emotional, you yeah. know? And it's it's easier to be emotional and like when you feel safe and comfortable yeah. with the people you're working with. You have a great support structure within each other to do like this really challenging stuff. Absolutely. Was that something you were nervous about coming into the show? Because there is some challenging stuff in this show. Like you guys get really dark, you tackle some really intense moments. How, what, do, what do you do to not bring that home with you after you're done doing a long day? Well, laugh. Yeah, we laugh. We <laughs> laugh mean, a lot. Yeah. We'll be crying, and then as soon as they say cut, we, we have to start making jokes and laughing. Also, like, <laughs> I'm always laughing off screen at you. Or, like, you know like how I... difficult it is to <laughs> cry when she's off screen? Oh, my God. Laughing? There was one time. No, there was one time where it was, it was on me. It was my close-up, <laughs> and I couldn't even look at her because we were laughing so hard before. And I had to say something really serious. It was a moment of, like, turning around and, you know, delivering the line. And she put her, all of her hair in front of her face <laughs> to completely block her face so I didn't have to actually Most look of the time, her. we're not even acting at, at each other. <laughs> like, we have to, like, look in between each other's yeah, eyes or yeah. something because you're going to just not to the soul. Yeah, exactly. at, <laughs> at that point, are you guys actively trying to just keep each other laughing and just, me like, not mess up a take, but, no, like... actually, we're very respectful. Like, yeah. we try to make it in, you know, it's so we can move school. on and yeah, yeah you know, where teachers like don't laugh and then it makes you laugh. It makes you and that's all you can do. There's yeah. Pressure. Yeah. 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 Were you, any of you at all? So I, in season two, I was saying in the back, uh, it, so it's still, it's almost done. I got to see some like pre, uh, pre visual effects and stuff. And I bring that up because there's a great moment. Uh, I'm not ruining it by saying there's a death and, um, there, okay. there's a note on the bottom <laughs> of the death and it literally says, more gruesome question mark, which uh, which I loved that like, should we push this further? So in season one, I think one of the things that surprised a lot of people was like how uh, intense and like gruesome and, and, and like not dark, but kind of like really horror movie-esque yeah. show like that it got, were you guys, yeah, were you guys at all surprised by how far the show went? Like when you saw the finished season, like, oh wow, that's a lot of goop. The show is like, <laughs> pretty pretty ruthless. I mean, yeah. I mean, you look at the poster for first season, and some of them didn't make it. Yeah. You know, <laughs> so yeah. like, it, you never know who's who's gonna live and who's gonna die, and like, honestly, no one's safe. And so that's, that's the thing. That's what's so great about the show is no one is safe, yeah. and the, I think second season the stakes are even higher. Yeah, there are plenty more deaths, and it. The, but what makes those deaths so? Um, heartbreaking is that they create these relationships within all of us that make you like either fall in love with this person or maybe you want this person to die whatever it is and it we're not just killing people off like frivolously like you kind of you you care about them and then we take them away from you and then that's what makes it really I think exciting to watch and we also don't know like when we receive our like we yeah, we have we no know, idea yeah. I mean yeah. we didn't read our finale until like maybe a couple days before we the started shooting the whole time shooting we're just like we're like well, right, well hope I see you guys at nice the end to, of this <laughs> nice to work I with think you actually when we shot <laughs> the never finale know. we the first scene that we shot none of us had gotten a script yet because oh, yeah, I, mean, yeah. I mean that's just how the oh, writer's yeah, room true. works but mm -hmm. yeah it was really that's so true yeah, on the fly, fun. That's wild. So, uh, and is that all the way through, even into season two, uh, working on now? They they kind of keep you guys. I don't want to say in the dark, but like you, you're learning as you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's gotta be every now and then. We're like, it's more <laughs> yeah. is this we, well, we have like our sources. Yeah, and on set, you got an inside <laughs> producers room. get they get of sex. You're like, how do you know that? And it's like, I'm not telling. We're you. not telling you. <laughs> but yeah. we do have. We our keep sources our sources up. private. <laughs> are there scenes that are like harder than others to film? Like when you're uh, like pulling a tooth out of your head or something equally awful and gruesome like is that a tough thing to do or a tough place it's to get into when you got to do like the kind of fun is it mm -hmm. really yeah. yeah yeah i think my i mean my character definitely deals with a lot of i mean it's not a secret in the first season yeah. i end up getting the chrysalis and you watch Haley in the first season kind of go through all of the stuff that comes with having the curse and i'm sort of dealing with that too in season two um and it's pretty fun like not often do you get to like see yourself in certain positions and yeah. it's like yeah. 
yeah, it's pretty wild. And honestly, the special effects on our show, you have to have some really creative minds to do some of the stuff mm-hmm. that our writers are asking for. So it's really cool to see. Were you excited when you found out that you were going to get the chrysalis? Like, oh, I get to be all possessed <laughs> Can't wait now. for that two-hour prosthetic. Yeah. yeah. Ex- well, that, yeah, hell, two hours. Yeah. No, yeah. maybe not two. I mean, not every scene. Maybe Obviously, totally. they don't Most do it every scene, so you don't have to do it every day. But, like, when you yeah. do need it, it takes time, huh? It's so cool when you read the script and you get to see the progression of, like, emotionally, as you yeah. like, from your character that comes with having that chrysalis, mm-hmm. like, that's so cool as an actor to get to play with and, like, how it messes, like, with your body physically. Like, mm-hmm. that's a really fun thing as an actor to, like, incorporate into your character. Practically, like, having a two-hour prosthetic and you're already tired from being on set and then also, you, like, it's hot outside and you're wearing this, like, thing on your back. <laughs> <laughs> is, that... it, like, is it, like, is it heavy? Do you, like, really sense it or is it just there? It's just weird. Um... There, there yeah. are some prosthetics that are heavier than others, but I Ooh. can't okay. give away no, that's too enough. much. Yeah, we don't want to go no. too far. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. Okay, yeah, you, know, you don't. Not with the first three episodes. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty amazing. Did you guys swap notes from one chrysalis wearer to another? Like, oh, here's what this means here. There, <laughs> People oh, are yeah. sick. Oh, yeah. Like, who else has experience, meetings. right? Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm Liana. Hi. I have a chrysalis. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> we're wearing the Haley's like recovered chrysalis where um, <laughs> um, and they're done that. Yeah, it's just nice like to be in the same makeup trailer and we can just look at each other and she just I just know she knows. Yeah. <laughs> what and, I'm going I mean through. it's fine. I mean <laughs> they're so talented. The makeup artists are just yeah. insane what they can do and how real they can make it look. So yeah. yeah. I mean when you're walking around set and you're actually freaking people out, you're like, okay, it's it's gonna be good. That's yeah. Fun. yeah. He was saying his uh his favorite compliment is, ooh, that's so gross. Yeah. He's like, Great, then I did it. Oh, it's super gross. Yeah. So funny Best. being an actress and you just think it's so glamorous and then <laughs> and then like people are gagging on set at you, like they look at you and they wanna gag and you're like, Oh, great, that's my job. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It means you're really good at what you do. That's what that means. Uh, Brynn, you have, and I, I don't want to spoil anything in terms of like new characters and stuff, but there's a lot of fun stuff that happens this season that, that you didn't get to do last season and get to explore new characters, new relationships. Were you excited coming into season two? How, how did was that revealed to you? Is it one script at a time? Did you know sort of the arc for Alex this year? Or what, what were you knowing going in? Yeah, well, when we found out we got picked up, I remember I had run into Lee and one of our writers, Seth. Lee's our showrunner and writer. And... Um, um, yeah, I, I kind of pitched to them that I wanted um, Alex to explore a relationship. Yeah. And um, apparently that's something the fans really wanted to, and our writers really like looked online to see what you know our audience wants, and it kind of became like a collaborative effort yeah. without them really knowing, I guess. But yeah, I mean, it's not a spoiler to know that I do, or Alex does have a girlfriend in the second season, and... It's really cool to see emotionally her arc be so, like for for once, I think in the first season, I was very much, you know, supporting my friends while trying to figure out stuff for myself. This one, it's, she really has her own storyline. And at the end of the day, she's the one that kind of needs to be saved, but but also learns that she can do the saving herself for herself. And um, the friendship between the th- us yeah, you get really three. strong. Yeah, I do, mm-hmm. and it's great because I think Alex kind of took a beating for a season. Um, as she couldn't eat, she was dealing with addiction, and this time around, she wants to be happy, yeah. and she thinks she's going to find that in another person. I think a lot of girls or teenagers in general deal with that, um, and she, it's very relatable. And I'm very proud of what me and the writers have been able to come up with. But I'm also really proud of the relationship that um, our three characters have this season and like women supporting women. There's a lot about forgiveness totally. and strength. And so it's, yeah, it's really exciting. Yeah. Well, that's the thing, like, especially with Violet, like I never, it's really easy for, for Violet to get written off as like a bad person, but you see tons of times that Violet isn't. And Violet's been like forced into some terrible circumstances and we start to see a lot of that. How do you ride that line how do you play it when violet needs to be mean when violet needs to be bad how do you go far without being evil like how do you get there and i i was thinking about that in the beginning too is she really evil or is it circumstance and i think it's the circumstances that she's had to deal with she didn't ask for any of this 
and she handles it wrong, I think. I mean, she, you know, she she uses her manipulation to save herself. And um, if you watch the first season, uh, the reason why she's still alive is is pretty dramatic. It's it's for someone else. It's for her her lover. That's why um, I mean, he he pretty much sacrificed himself. So I think that her life is it has so much more meaning because she needs to live life for him. And yeah, she doesn't always handle it right, and her manipulation is um, it's intense. Well, the she can use it when she wants. Yeah, yeah. The contrast: you first season dealing with it with the chrysalis and the curse. Mm -hmm. Now you dealing with it, and we can see how people of different characters we handle it very choose differently. Choose to deal with something. Yeah, that's that's one of the, like the really cool parts about season yeah. two. It's not just picking up where we left off, but like seeing just this world grow and see how everybody handles these different pieces. Yeah, and I think Violet was just lost, really. Yeah. And I mean, she's at an age where I think it's. Uh, She's really easily influenced. We're going to go to the audience in just a second, but I want to say again, congratulations, because you guys continue to knock it out of the park. This show is so good. You are all so wonderful in it. Uh, I want to ask, there's a real fun question. How, in terms of, like, were you guys skeptics before this show? Do you, like, what is working on this show done for your belief of the paranormal and the funky and weird stuff that could or could not be I'm out so there? I'm so superstitious. Are you superstitious? I'm yeah. I'm so superstitious. Before we walk into the cemetery, and I've told them this, so yeah. it's not, like, weird, but, like, I asked for permission and like <laughs> forgiveness yeah. before we walk on, just because I'm like, you don't know what you're dealing with. It's just a really respectful thing just to respectful. do. Right? Respectful. Yeah, exactly. That's what I think. Yeah. But I'm superstitious. I don't know about you. Right guys. before, um, like as we were filming our season one finale, there was a moment where I think you you like shove an unconscious um, Alex like into a room or oh, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we were opening that door in the mausoleum that we were filming in, and there was a black butterflies or like. A thing on the show, and there was a random black butterfly, butterfly. like flying around yeah. in that room that we were. There's some weird in. stuff like that too, like Violet's house. We film off of a street called Mariposa, which is yeah. butterfly in Spanish. Yeah. So, yeah. Hang on, I have a really important butterfly follow up because in uh, some of the episodes I watched, the butterflies needed to be added. Like they still weren't there yet. It would tell me butterflies coming. I knew what that meant. Do you? Did the random black butterfly, did you guys have them on set like another day? Or they no, were this not in just season. We couldn't get them. <laughs> so the fact that one is just flying that's around. Creepy. Come on, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's And so it, what does it mean? I think it's a symbol for grief or something. Uh, you're asking the wrong I mean, we're filming in a mausoleum, but I'm pretty sure that's like what it, it, it can symbolize. That's and wild. so. Yeah, it was we really never creepy. use any real back, yeah, black we butterflies. They're all, they're all added CG, later. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, That's what it looked like, yeah. yeah. That's why I was like, wait a second. What do you mean there was a black butterfly there? I know. It's so weird, though. We're it's like, we could have used you all I season, <laughs> bud. Where were you? I got a friend. You can't even say, like, Ouija board near him. He's so, like, superstitious. Really? Yeah, he won't, he won't mess with it. Did you guys oh. do any of that? Did you get, like, a Ouija board out? A Ouija board. No. No, you won't no. do it? You won't play around with it? There's I, a Ouija board in Violet's house. It's just there. Yeah. Oh, really? It's there. Really? Yeah. yeah. It's just there. At our rap party, we had, like, a little tarot card reader. Yeah. And I normally, like, don't do not do those things because I don't want to, like, project. But yeah, yeah. I had a glass of wine, so I was like. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you were projecting Let's that night. Do it. Yeah, that's how you do it. <laughs> That's amazing. All right. That's a perfect place to wrap this part up. Let's go ahead and get some questions from the outside world. Our first one is from Twitter, uh, from at uh, Gat Bloom. It says, most enjoyable scene to film last season and why? That was barely a question. Thank you, Gat Bloom. <laughs> most enjoyable scene to film last season and why? Go. Um, uh, Ooh. Um, <laughs> I mean, the, I the cemetery, that. probably the first night that we all got together, That's was true. really fun. That was really fun. Wait, yeah. last season or the season last that we just night. filmed? Most enjoyable scene to film last season. Yeah, so yeah. last season. season. Okay. Yeah, I would say the stuff that we did all together in the beginning in the cemetery was really cool. Just getting to know each other and mm -hmm. seeing that yeah. we do have good chemistry. And it was, like, creepy and fun. It was a good way to, like, kick off mm -hmm. so That was some show. of the first stuff you did, right? So yeah. then yeah. it sort of set the tone, like, for, the, for like yeah. what you were in for. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I yeah. It was the first time we play the game. Obviously, the scene, like the the show, is very much like based off of supernatural things. But anytime, like our writer, our writers are so amazing, and they, I, I love when they write just like 
true situations like for Keeps teenagers. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so we have yeah. so yeah. supernatural. We that's have a great time. Yeah, like, it's the, the yeah. groundedness, if that's a way to say that. Uh, but the, <laughs> <laughs> the degree to which the show uh, is yeah. grounded, it makes the supernatural stuff play that much uh, better and more well. Anytime we just like get to have conversations with each other and, and scenes are really yeah. fun because yeah. we just goof around. You guys have like a get out of creepy mode, like happy fun music playlist that you put on? We've been playing Miley Cyrus. We play a lot of Miley Cyrus. Mother's Cyrus. Daughter. Yeah. A yeah. Lot. yeah. Yeah. And dreams. <laughs> yeah, yeah Miley's been dreams. very, yeah. especially when the rap season. part comes on, it's like a little shocking. Yeah, it's like, whoa! <laughs> favorite part. What song yeah. am I listening to? Uh, I, got two, I got two questions in the room. You have a microphone. Let's start right in the front. Hi, my name is Dan. I'm a really big fan. And um, I was wondering, what was it like to work with your co-star, Kaylin Nakan, whom I met, and I think she's really awesome. We love her. We agree. She's great. <laughs> we love she's her. She's so great. She's yeah. so good. She's very talented. She's so funny and sweet. She would bake things and bring them yes. to set, and I think that's why I like her. Best baker. Uh, <laughs> Doesn't hurt. Like, no, Goes but she's, 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 she's really talented. Cake. Oh, my God. It was so, it was good. so good. Or like yeah. a pound cake. I don't know. She made her own birthday cake. Yeah. And, and it had it and, it and brought it to set and she put um powdered sugar on it and when she blew out the candles it the just, powdered sugar went yeah. all over me. <laughs> I was yeah. like, "Wow." Oh okay. God. Yeah, she's really fun and yeah. super professional and I think that um she plays the character really well. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a great question. Thank you. Do we have time for one more? I'm going to do one more question. Microphone, go for it. Hi, lady. Hi. Hi. First of all, I have to say, Alex is my favorite character. Oh, that means so <laughs> yeah. much to me. Thank you. Um, but I want to say, um, uh, which one of the deaths from the first season, the ones that were predicted, was the creepiest one that you guys Ooh. really cried? For me, I don't know if it was the creepiest, but it was the, I felt Sorry. it the most. It was like the most emotional. And, I, and, and drowning is very yeah. scary and creepy in itself, but Asiona's death, yeah. Candace, was really, was hard. It's interesting, because when I when I watched the show, I Peyton's death, like, her, the tears going down her That's face, true. like, that was, mm -hmm. cre like, so gnarly, and I really felt that one. Oh, and the but, lights hitting her face. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that, that was... But filming the scene, Asiana's death, was really heartbreaking. Yeah, like, we had to really jump involved. in the pool and, like, drag her out, and... And that was yeah. It that's gives like me my chills favorite. just thinking about it because it is. It was we did a lot of it. That's my favorite episode of the first season. Yeah, we knew how upset the audience was going to be because she makes it to almost the end. Yeah, yeah. you're so invested in her character. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Another great question. Thank you so much. Uh, I got to wrap things up. We're just about out of time. But I will remind everybody out there, uh, July 26th on Hulu, season two, Light as a Feather. Uh, if you haven't watched season one yet, that's on Hulu as well. So go ahead. You got plenty of time. Catch up. It flies by. It's so good. Uh, and you'll be all ready for season two on July 26th. Uh, everybody, thank you for being a great audience. Thank you out there for your great questions from Twitter. And a huge, massive thank you. I'm going to need your help on this one. Everybody make some noise. And join me in thanking uh, Liana Liberato for being here, Haley Ram, and, and Brian Chu as well. Guys, I, 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 thank, thank you. you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.